Welcome home with Pastor Alice Smith, a program that represents the place that Christ has prepared for us. Hi, welcome to our Wednesday morning broadcast of Welcome Home. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Such a privilege and an honor to, you know, be in God's presence. So we thank you for joining us for this very special Welcome Home broadcast. So let's start out in prayer. Father God, we just bless and praise your name today, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this broadcast. We thank you for the people that have ears to hear and a heart to receive your word today. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to bring revelation to them this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Pastor Alice, and you're, you're now watching the Welcome Home Show. And I just want to talk to you and encourage you by some, some uh, testimonies that I have of what God is doing. You know, we still serve a, a God of miracles. He's still working miracles. He's still saving, healing, delivering, and setting free. So I just want to give you these testimonies to encourage you, those who who are um, believing God for something, this is, the, this is your day. This is your day today. So here's a testimony of an elderly, elderly lady who had called in for prayer. She said she had pain in her legs. She could tell, the person that was praying for her could tell that she wanted prayer, but that she had no expectation. She was just asking for prayer, for encouragement. Have you ever been in that situation where you don't have an expectation for God to do anything, but you're wanting somebody to pray for you just for encouragement? But this lady was surprised because as, as um, Pastor Ray prayed for her, her legs, um, he asked her to get up and move, and she was surprised, and God healed her. And see, that's what God does. He heals, He saves, He delivers, and He sets free. So if you're listening by airways today, and you're thinking by television broadcasts, and you're thinking that you have pain in your body, or you have pain in your legs, or that you have a situation that you don't think that uh, God can do anything with, believe God today. He can and He will heal you today. I want to pray for you. And so let me give you another testimony. This testimony is on another lady that had called and she had several things she wanted prayer for. And one of these things was her back. So they prayed for her back and um, Pastor Ray asked her to twist and to move her back. And of course she did that and then God healed her. So see, when we pray for you, we want to see you do some things that you couldn't do before. That's showing God's power. And when you do these things that you couldn't do before, then you know God has healed you. And so that's what happens in prayer. So this lady who was uh, had problems in her back as she twisted and turned, as Pastor Ray prayed for her, and she twisted and turned, she could move and she had no more pain in her back. So see, that's what God does. That's the God we serve. He is a God of miracle. He is the Lord that heals us, that heals you. That's one of his promises in Psalms 103. He forgives all of our iniquities. He heals all of our sicknesses, all of our diseases. He heals them. He's still a healer today, as he was yesterday, today, and forever. He will always be the God of miracles. He will always be our healer. Amen? So, one more testimony. This testimony, a lady had a crippling disease of over seven years, and she had difficulty walking and was in much pain. You know, when you're in pain, it's hard for you to function. It's hard for you to do your normal things, you know, to live a normal life because you're in so much pain. You know, you may not feel like um, combing your hair, you may not feel like, you know, getting up. You may not even feel like eating because of the pain is so uh, tremendous that you just, just can't do anything. And some of you are like that today. And I want to pray for you because, see, God is going to heal you today. God is going to heal you. I've seen so many miracles, and it doesn't take God long to heal you. 
but let me finish this testimony. And so she thought it was going to take a long time on prayer for her healing, but it took only a couple of minutes. God healed her and she was healed that very instance. So see, sometimes people think that you have to labor in prayer for 30 to 40 minutes before God will do anything. But see, God is the one that heals. It's not Pastor Alice. It's not Pastor Ray. It's God that heals us. So it only takes him a few minutes to heal because see, nothing's impossible for him. There's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing too big for God. There's nothing that he can't do because see, he's almighty. He's all powerful. He's omnipotent. He's He's everywhere. So he can do it. God can do this for you today. So if you're in pain today, if you're uh, in a situation where maybe you have pain in your legs, or maybe you have pain in your back, or maybe you're in a uh, situation where you're just whole, your whole body just is in pain, I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for you today, but I want to give you a word first, a scripture to stand on. So let's turn to, if you have your Bibles out, and I want you to write this down because this is it. This is very important that you know this scripture. All right, this is Psalm 30, verse 2. Now write this down. O oh Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. So see, when we cry out to God, God will heal us. Amen. If you're a child of the Most High God, if you're a Christian today, if you belong to Christ, he says that the healing is for his children. This is our bread. The bread is for us. I mean, it's for his children to be healed. So this is one of the promises that God has for you. Because, you know, it says in Isaiah that Jesus, he was, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we're healed. So see, Jesus died on the cross and he went through that torment and that um, wounded, was wounded for our transgressions, for our iniquities. And so the healing is for you today. His healing he has for you today. And that's, um, we're going to give you one more scripture. Psalms 107 verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So see... God's word can go through this airways and it can touch you and heal you right where you're at. But I want you to understand something about healing. When God heals you, just receive it. There's nothing you have to do but to believe it and to receive it. And some, like this person uh, that called in, some of us don't even believe that we can be healed. But believe God. Believe that he can do this for you today. And I want to pray for you. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that person that has pain right now in their right arm. I rebuke that condition right now in the name of Jesus. I command that condition to go. In Jesus' name. And I speak health and wholeness to that body in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you have a condition today, I want you to come and lay your hands on the screen. I want contact with this. So whatever that pain is, wherever that situation is, I want you to place your hand, if you can place your hand on that part of your body and put the other hand on the screen. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just take authority over sickness and disease. I command the spirit of infirmity to go right now in the name of Jesus. And I speak wholeness and health to that person's body. I command pain to go in Jesus' name. I command that body to line up and to be whole in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And if you had had pain before and you had Wherever, wherever that pain is, I want you to move or do what you can't, couldn't do before and call in and give us that testimony of what God has done for you today. Praise be to our God. Call in and give us that testimony. Tell somebody what God has done for you today. Tell them. Tell your neighbors. Tell your husband. Tell your families. Tell somebody 
what God has done for you today because he is indeed a healer. God bless you, and I want you to stay tuned for our musical selection. And if you need further prayer, our phone, telephone number is on the screen, the 1-800 number. Call us if you need further prayer, and we will be glad to pray with you. Amen. And give us your testimony. Amen. God bless you. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. When through the woods and forest glades I wander, and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur, and hear the brook, and feel the gentle then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die. I scarce can take it in that on that cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Ooh, 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 ooh. When Christ shall come with shouts of acclamation, and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then i shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my god how great thou art and then sings my soul my savior god to how great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Welcome back to our um, broadcast of Welcome Home. God bless you. I pray that you enjoyed our musical selection. So we're talking about healing today. You know, we know that Jesus Christ, he is still healing today by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's anointed me to pray for people that they could be healed. And I thank God 
for opportunities to pray for the sick, you know, to lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. So we're using the scripture today and we want to talk about um, the scripture in Luke and I want you to turn with me, get your pens, pen and paper and your Bible and we're going to go to Luke chapter 13 and we're going to read verses 10 through 17. So read with me as we read the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. And he was teaching in the, one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called to her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, amen, and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation, because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day, and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath found, lo, these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that was done by him. Amen. So you see here, we have a woman that was a cripple, you know. She was bowed down. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to himself. And he said, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. So you see the power of God that Jesus walked in when he was on the earth. There were people that had many conditions of disease, sickness, you know, um, they had uh, deliverance, they had unclean spirits, and Jesus took authority over those things, and he healed, he saved, and he set free those people. So this woman here, who had been crippled for, had a, a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. Just imagine being sick for 18 years. You know, I read about uh, a testimony about a woman who had been sick for seven years. And there's other people that I've known that's been sick for maybe 10 years. But for 18 years is a long time to be in a sickness where she was bowed over and she couldn't lift herself up. So see, sometimes when we have sicknesses or we have infirmities, we can't help ourselves. We need God to help us. She needed Jesus to speak to that condition. And he spoke to that spirit of infirmity. And he, asked, he, and he told that spirit of infirmity to loose her and let her go. So sometimes, um, not all sicknesses are spirits. But there are some sicknesses which are spirits that has to be cast out, the per, out of the person. And, may, and, and, you know, your prayers may be uh, okay, but sometimes it takes the power of God. It takes a, a leader or a pastor to lay hands on you so that that spirit of infirmity or that sickness or that disease can leave your body. And you notice in verse um, 13, and it says here, and, and he laid his hands on her. So like I said, sometimes it takes a pastor or a prophet or, or, or a woman of power, man of power, to lay their hands on that person that has that infirmity. And when Jesus laid his hands on her, it says immediately, immediately. So it doesn't take God long. It doesn't take up a whole day for him to heal a person. It says immediately she was made straight and glorified God. So notice what happened. Jesus laid his hands on her immediately she became straight meaning she was able to lift up her body she was no longer bowed over she was lift lift up her body and then when that healing came what happened next was she glorified god so see it's important that when god heals you that you glorify him 
that he's the one that has healed you. Some people, and I'm not talking about all people, but some people, when they receive their healings, instead of glorifying God, they don't do it. They just, you know, just, I don't know, just, just stay in a closet with it. They're afraid to tell someone what God has done for them. But you know what? You need to tell your testimony. You need to tell others that God is a healer so that they can believe too for healing if they need one. See, it's so many diseases out here today. There's so many things that people are being attacked with. And they need Jesus. They need his help. They need to be delivered. They need to be healed. And God wants you to be whole. He doesn't want you to have to go and minister or go and uh, you know, take care of your family and you be in pain. Or maybe you're on medication that you don't want to be on and that medication is not helping you. It's making you even worse. God doesn't want that for your life. He wants you to live a life that's full and overflowing. You know, it says in the scripture that the, it, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. That means to the full and overflowing, a life complete of wholeness. And see, that's what this lady received that day. She received wholeness. Health and wholeness is important for today's uh, life and today's journey. I mean, really, it takes a healthy person to be able to function in this world, to be able to work, to be able to support their families, be, to be able to show love, to be able to walk in love, to be able to be happy and content. Because, see, when you're on medication and drugs, what it does is it alters your your um, risk perception of things it alters who you are you know you may be drowsy you know you weren't drowsy before you may sleep more than you used to sleep you know you didn't sleep before because of the medication it's just over um exerting your body and i'm not saying that medication is bad but what i'm saying is that jesus is offering you healing today if you need healing today, God can heal you. I don't care what kind of condition it is. I've seen God heal a man that had cancer. I've seen God restore somebody whose finger was shorter than the other and it grew out. I've seen God do many miracle signs and wonders. And God can do that for you today. I want you to believe for miracles today. Believe God for a miracle. And then verse 11 says, And the ruler of the synagogue answered, with indignation so see the people there they got upset because jesus healed this woman on the sabbath day and jesus was saying to them you know if you had uh, uh an, an ass or uh what is he called it or a donkey or whatever that had fallen into a hole and you went to get him out on the sabbath day when you do that for, for him on a sabbath day if you can do that for an animal then what's wrong with this girl this woman who's uh a daughter of abraham who's been bound by Satan for 18 years, what's wrong with her being healed on the Sabbath day? So they were making excuses, but see, healing can come anytime. It can be on any day. You know, God provides this for you. This is free to you today. And maybe you're not a believer today, and you're saying, well, Pastor Alice, will Jesus heal me because I, I'm not a believer? Yes, he will. He will heal you. You know, he has purpose in why he heals people. And his purpose is to, to show you that he's God. He's God and he is God alone. So I want to pray for you today. Maybe you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you want to receive him today. I pray that you have faith to receive the Lord. And the Lord has given each of us a measure of faith. So I want to pray for you today. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for that man or that woman, that boy or that girl that don't know you as Lord and Savior. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would draw them now. Draw them by your Spirit. Help them to know you as Lord and Savior. And if that's you today and you want to pray this prayer of faith to receive the Lord, pray a prayer like this. Say, Father God, I repent. I turn from my evil. I ask you to come into my heart and make me new. I ask you to take away my sins. And I ask you to forgive me 
for all the times that I said no to you. And now I want to receive you as Lord and Savior. So I receive you this day in Jesus' name. Now Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 says, If thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth confession is made, and with the heart man believes unto righteousness. So if you have done that today, then your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. And now you are born again. Amen. And now all things have become new. Behold, all things that things in the past are in the past. Now today is a new day for you. And the healing is for you today. So I pray that if you need um, prayer today, call our 1-800 number. It's right there on the screen. Call us and let us know what your need is. We have powerful prayer warriors that's ready to pray for you today. And God bless you. God bless you. And call us and tell us about your testimony of you receiving the Lord Jesus Christ. We get so many calls in about people rededicating their lives and people coming to Christ for the first time. It's such a privilege and an honor to know the Lord Jesus Christ and to have him as Lord and Savior. You know, the scripture says that to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And that's what you want to do today. And so if that's you today, come back home. Come and receive the Lord. Call us and we will pray for you and give us your testimony. God bless you and thanks again for watching us. And stay tuned for our tea thought for today. Amen. Hi, welcome to our tea thought for today. Tea meaning the thought for today. You know, I've got a great plate of food here. I've got some salad, carrots, and I have um, turkey or chicken pastry to eat. You know, it's always good. grace before you eat your food even if you're you know at a, a party where there's you know just got a layout of food it's always good to just bless your food God wants us to bless our food and to give him thanks for what he's given us and so you know it used to be you know when when I was young we would say you know God is great God is good God please bless this food and then we have another prayer that says um um, God bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. So however you pray and bless your food, God wants you to bless your food. And I'm looking at scripture here, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. It says, For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be, um, to be refused if it is received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. So see, we sanctify our food when we pray over it. So don't forget to pray over your food and bless the food that God has given you. So Lord God, I bless this food in Jesus' name, that it would be nourishment for my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen. Thank you for watching today's broadcast with Pastor Alice Smith. We invite you to tune in next week as we continue to explore the place that Christ has prepared for us. Welcome home.